you know, traditionally creating interactive electronic books has been really hard. And uh, we think we've changed all that today with iBooks Author. Let's, let's take a look. I'm going to click on the iBooks Author icon. The first thing I see is our template chooser. iBooks Author comes with some beautiful Apple design templates that serve as great starting points for creating your own books. I'm just going to click on one, create a new document. And this window is where you actually build your entire book. At the top is our toolbar and format bar. And that should be completely familiar to anyone who's ever used uh, an iWork app like Pages or Keynote or Numbers. On the left side, we have the content of the book. Up above, there's special objects like the book cover and the glossary. And down below are the pages of the actual book. So let's pretend I'm a publisher. And uh, you know, let's, let's build a book here. I, uh, I have some of the media and assets from that book I showed you earlier. So let's just do it. I'm going to open up a finder window so I can get to that stuff. I'll click on the cover of the book. And I'll just drag a cover image right into the image placeholder. There it is. Let's give the book a title. This is what's going to appear on the bookshelf in iBooks 2. And let's say we want to have an intro movie. So I'll click on the intro media placeholder, and I'll just drag a movie right in. I can preview it in place if I want to. And I'm pretty much done defining the basic front matter of our, of our book here. So let's, let's work on the actual pages. Click on the first page. I can drag an image into this placeholder. And now if I wanted to, I could actually start writing my book right here, just typing it. But we know a lot of people have great content already created in Word files and Pages files. So we wanted to make it really easy to use those. So I'll just delete the pages we gave you. And I will drag a Word file in from the Finder, and drop it here. iBooks author wants to know how to format it. And now it scans through the file, looks at the styles, and uses them to automatically create sections and headers, and basically lays out the pages of our book. All right, so how about adding some media? Well, let's start simple. We'll drag an image in here. And as I drag it around, you see text flows around it. And I get alignment guides, so I can position it dead accurately. Super simple. All right, so how about some cool interactive stuff? Well, up here in the toolbar, we have a, a widgets button. And when I click on it, we show a, a gallery of, the, of all the interactive objects that iBooks Author understands. So I'm going to click on the image gallery. And then I'm going to drag a selection of images in from the finder, drop them on there. I think I'll move this over, use my alignment guides to get it just where I want it. And I think I'll make it a little bit taller. So I'll just resize it. And I'm done. I have created an interactive image gallery. I can even go through it right here. And needless to say, everything you do in iBooks Author is completely what you see is what you get. It's going to look exactly the same on your iPad. All right, so what if I have, say, a, a 3D model that I want to use? Well, I'll just drag one in from the Finder. There you go. 3D model added to the book. All right, so what if I want to do something custom, have some kind of unique interactive experience? Well, we, we built Keynote, the presentation app. So we thought, wouldn't it be really cool if we combined Keynote and iBooks 2 so you can create interactive experiences without doing any programming? In fact, a number of those interactives that we saw in the book that I showed you earlier were actually Keynote decks. So I have a Keynote document right here. I'll just drag it out of the Finder. Drop it right in. An iBooks author in Keynote, reprocess it, compress it, and there it is. Yeah. Now, what if you want to do something even more custom than that? Some kind of super sophisticated interactive object that, say, has, um, you know, uses the internet to get to a database or it has a, a mathematical model at the heart of it. Well, we wanted to make that really easy, too. And if you can write code in JavaScript and HTML, basically, you can create your own completely custom interactive widgets. We actually use the same developer tools that were created for Mac OS X for creating OS X widgets. So I have one of those widgets right here. It's a dash code widget. I'll just drag it in, drop it on the page, resize it. 
And there you go, a completely custom interactive widget. All right, so how about that really cool glossary that we saw earlier? Well, iBooks Author has the world's best glossary creation tool in it. I'll just turn on the glossary toolbar here. And now whenever I select a term, like nucleosome here, it appears in the new glossary term field. I'll click add term. It's in the glossary. Choose another one here. Click add term. And now I want to, let's say I want to define them now. I'll just click on the button. It takes us to the glossary view, and here they are. And now I can just type a definition in, drag an image in, lay it out however I want, and there you go. It's really easy to make sophisticated multimedia glossaries. All right, how about that nifty text-focused portrait view we looked at earlier? Well, believe it or not, those are actually created for you completely automatically. I'll click up here to see a preview of it. And there it is, it's done. Yeah. If, you, if you've ever been involved in any kind of ebook creation project before, you know that this is a total miracle in terms of time savings. All right, so let's say I'm done with this book and I want to just go ahead and publish it to the iBook store. Well, we've made that really easy, too. We have a Publish button right here. I can click it, and it starts me down the path of publishing it to the iBook store. Great. But what if I want to see it on my iPad first? Well, we have a really nice preview feature, and there's a button right here, and I'll just push it. And if I have a, an iPad connected to my Mac, we're actually going to build the book for you in real time, put all the media in it, all those interactive objects, compress it, send it across the wire, and... There you go. We have our book on the iPad. Here's a 3D model we put in there. Here's our Keynote Interactive. And here's our totally custom HTML Interactive. And I just think that's totally awesome, right? <laughs> I mean, in like five minutes flat, we created an interactive electronic book and deployed it onto the iPad. I just think that uh, that's going to open up a whole new world of possibility for people who want to publish their ideas. And I hope you find it as inspiring and as empowering as I do. Thank you. Thank you.